can take you anywhere Turn the pages and you'll be there Come on, join us, you'll see We're reading with Kevin Lee friends and thank you for joining me for another read with Carolee. I am your host Carolee and I'm so glad that you are here to join us for another author and another book that is going to be amazing. But before we get into that, let's make sure that you don't miss any of our authors that are coming by. So Ring the bell for notifications and make sure you hit subscribe so that we here at Read with Carolee know that you support us and we support you by sharing our author friends with you. And today we have another great author friend stopping by, Miss Tulani Thomas. And she wrote the book. Tutu goes green. Hi, Tulani. Nice to Hello. have you with us. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, thank you for coming by. And I know your book says Tutu goes green, but I'm I I don't have a green tutu. I'm sorry. You know, okay. I just have my pink tutu today, but I you know what? I kind of think that you mean something else by this. Yes, that's the Maybe. character's name, Tutu. Oh, oh okay, all right. Well, Miss Tulani, can you tell us where you are reading to us from today? I am coming to you from South Orange, New Jersey. Oh, oh, awesome. Well, I, I have a lot of friends in New Jersey because of course I did grow up in New York, so. I, I really want to find out about Tutu, the character, not the Tutu, <laughs> so green. So um, do you mind reading the, this book for us? Can we get into the book? Yes, I. it is my pleasure. Let's jump right into it. Awesome. So let's get started. Tutu goes green. Written by Tulani Thomas. Illustrated by Saitu Hayden. Tutu cares about many things. She cares about her family and her friends. Tutu also cares about the earth. That is why Tutu lives a green life. She wants to take care of the earth. Recycle. Say it with me, boys and girls. Recycle! Tutu does many things to live green. Tutu loves to recycle. To recycle is to take something that has been used before and make it into something else. Let's see what Tutu recycles. Tutu recycles all of her old notebooks. She puts them in the bins at her school. When the bins are full, all of the old notebooks are taken and made into new ones. Notebooks are made from trees, so Tutu is saving trees. Reuse. Say it with me, boys and girls. Reuse. Tutu also loves to reuse old things. To reuse is to use something over and over again. Tutu and her mother always reuse the same tote bags when they go to the market. Tutu reuses old soup cans too. She draws pretty pictures on paper and glues the pictures onto the cans. She uses the decorated cans to hold her pencils and markers. Tutu reuses her favorite water bottle to drink water, juice, and milk. Her mother washes it every day so that Tutu can use it again and again. Reduce. One time with me. 
reduce. Tutu also reduces waste by not using more than she needs. She only uses things when she needs them. Tutu always turns off the lights when she leaves her room. Her light bulbs are a squiggly shape. They save energy. Tutu reduces waste by turning off the water when she brushes her teeth. Tutu fills a cup with water to rinse her mouth. She does not want to waste a drop. Choo Choo and her family like to do many other things that are good for the earth too. Choo Choo's mother cleans her room with safe cleaners. They don't have a harmful smell. Her room smells fresh. Choo Choo loves her soft bed. Her pillows, sheets, and blankets are made of a special kind of cotton called organic. Organic means that no harmful chemicals were used to grow the cotton. Tutu always sleeps well in her soft bed. Tutu and her friends help her father plant a tree in the garden. Trees help to clean the air. Tutu and her friends will sit under the tree when it grows big and tall. Tutu loves living green because it keeps our world clean. The end. Oh, that was a very awesome book. I, I love all the green things that Tutu did. And you know, I have something here too that was recycled. This is my, my, we, my son made a little ukulele out of, uh, we had a big sar saran wrap or um, mm -hmm. plastic wrap. And we used this, the empty tube when the plastic wrap was done and he made a little ukulele for school. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. Yes. So I love it. There are so, is already living green. Yes. My, my, I would say my sons really love doing green things and love recycling. Um, there's no box that comes in my house that is not multi-purpose <laughs> before awesome. it gets possibly destroyed. And then we recycle it again. We are big on recycling here. So I love that. this book. Yes. And, you know, friends, you can find different things that you can take from around the house and recycle just like Tutu did. Absolutely. So, Ms. Tulani, why exactly did you want to write this book? Well, I started, I was really inspired because it's always been my passion. Um, even when I was raised before we had that, you know, green terminology. Mm -hmm. I was in a home where we did repurpose, we did recycle, we lived a very green lifestyle, we ate healthy. Mm -hmm. And when I started my family, I was at the time practicing corporate law. Um, that's not really, you know, oozing green or oozing uh -huh. a green message. But I knew that I wanted to raise my children with that green ethos. And I decided to, you know, I was able to stay home after my first child. And in looking um, to populate his library with diverse characters and with messages that complemented what I was teaching him at home, I was really hitting a wall. And I said, mm -hmm. you know, why not? Why not go for it? I know there are other mothers, green moms out there that are trying to raise environmentally friendly children. And why not have um, a character that, you know, a black protagonist? who is spreading a global issue that all that affects all children, all families. And that's how Tutu was, was birthed, you know, <laughs> was birthed. Well, that's amazing because yes, we do have to do so many things to protect the earth, to have a greater, you know, 
place for our children to live in. And we may not be able to um, reverse certain things, but we can definitely stop it or slow the progression. And, you know, that's one of the things that we're trying to do here with Read with Carolee, um, with uh, creating a platform for diverse authors so that as in the green world, we can have a more educated world so that we can have a more inclusive world as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Tutu, is, is Tutu a character that you just created or is Tutu someone that is in your life? Well, Tutu the name was actually a nickname that my grandmother used to call me in secret. <laughs> okay. So that's how the name came about. And the character, I honestly used the picture of my son. Uh -huh. <laughs> I gave that to say to Hayden. And I said, you know, I want Tutu to be very relatable to little, little boys, little girls. And, you know, you can find a Tutu in your classroom. She could be your sister. She could be your neighbor. Um, I just wanted her to, to look like the little girls that I've seen growing up and I've seen in my mm. neighborhoods. And I actually used to wear my hair like that when I was younger. <laughs> oh, awesome. So Tutu has a connection with your son and with you. So that's all bringing it together. And I, I love that. <laughs> So with this book being so inspirational, and I know so many children will be able to be inspired by Tutu and want to create a green world, were there any books that inspired you when you were growing up? Yeah, there were. Um, there were many. Um, I know one in particular was my favorite was Mufaro's Beautiful Daughter. By oh. John Stepto. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a Cinderella tale, but it was uh, from an African perspective. So That's this was beautiful. the first time that I was able to see a princess that looked like me and it validated me. And, um, you know, children's books, I really feel are so impactful, more impactful than we, than we even think. Um, yeah. Because it's not just the words. They're the images. And that was definitely something that I was going for with my children's books. I wanted the images to be very reflective of what our green world could look like, right? So Tutu's empowering the next generation to live green, right? And Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters honestly validated me as a little black girl growing up in the Bronx, right? Oh. She, and just also the message in, in it was, you know, the Cinderella message where beauty yeah. is skin deep, right? Beauty comes from within, right? So that's, that's really, um, was, that book inspired me, I mean, throughout my life. And that's what I hope to do with Tutu Goes Green, to inspire the next generation to live green, to know that their small acts that they could do every day will have a big impact on our earth. Yes, absolutely. And I do believe that Tutu's Green Goes Green is on its way to becoming a classic that so many children will be able to draw from. You know, friends, as we said, you can find things around your house. I want to see if anyone can find things around their house and repurpose it and show it on have your parents take a picture and show it on either my Facebook or my Instagram page. And both are at Read With Carolee. I want to see your pictures. I want to see you go green with Tutu. So that's going to be our challenge. And I will give away this signed copy of Tutu Goes, Tutu Goes Green. And we will see who inspires us the most to go green and reduce, reuse, and recycle. Tulani, thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to so many, so much more that you'll be doing. Oh, thank you so much, Carrie Lee. 
for having me. Um, you know, I always say to my children and when I do my readings that Earth Day is every day. So yes. going green is a daily, daily lifestyle. And I am just so um, appreciative of joining you today because reading is essential and you showcasing all of us authors um, is just so impactful and so important. And I, I really, really do honor you and thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you again for joining us. You know, your book is already making a difference in this world. So we celebrate you and all the authors that come on Read with Carolee. And you too can celebrate our authors by joining us every Saturday here on YouTube for a new fabulous author coming our way and sharing their books. Again, thank you, Ms. Tulani. And thank you to all our friends for joining us today. And remember to ring that bell and hit subscribe. You never know who will be coming your way. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Oh, and also remember to grab a book and read. Have a great day. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.